Hi guys, it's me. Um, so my husband and I, we went to the flea market today and I found a lot of super cool stuff. Like, so cool in my eyes that I decided to make posts on Facebook about it and tell everybody I was going to do this video and yeah, anyway, y'all get the point. I was super excited and I'm going to show you why. So here we go. First off, I found this stone and come to find out it is a hunk of sodalite. And I kind of laughed because I knew what it was, but the guy just labeled it as a rock. Just a rock. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I was like, I've got to snag this. She needs to be cleaned, and I need to sage her before I put her to any kind of use because she's been kind of touched all morning at the flea market and who knows what else before she got to the flea market. So I'm going to sage her after I do this video. I got two tiger's eyes and these guys were 50 cents a piece. You can see the color, the brilliant gold in there is just amazing. And, oh, back to the soda light. This was a dollar. So, yeah, I paid a dollar for her and a dollar for these guys. So, yeah, that was my first stop. And this next one was right before we were leaving. And I found her, and I had to bring her home. There was no question about it. So here she is. Isn't that cool? Just a little Native American girl holding her pot. And she's got some pottery right next to her. And her name is Morning Flower. And I got her for a solid $2. So, had to bring her home. And she will be saged too. And she will be put on my altar. And this one was my big find, the one that I was super, super stoked about because I used to collect these as a kid um, and somehow I had lost them in a move whenever I was younger and I haven't came across any since except for one at my last flea market find that was attached to a dream catcher. So here we go. Look at these arrowheads. Aren't they amazing? There was no way I was going to pass these up. Not in a million years. And I'm going to show y'all each individual one so maybe y'all could help me ID some of these because I know I have an obsidian one and it's super sharp all the way around so I know this one's obsidian this one I love it because it's so different than normal arrowheads I just don't know what it's what it's made from and my phone is not going to want to focus so if y'all have any idea what these arrowheads are from you can message me on Facebook or you can leave me a comment and Tawny's going to get in on it and have her 
her two minutes of fame. And okay, baby. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, if y'all know <laughs> what they are made out of, just let me know and I would greatly appreciate it. And the person said that he had a lot more and if I was interested he would bring them next time so I'm looking forward to seeing what else he has. So yeah. I was super, super stoked. And I got all of these for $5. And these will be placed in a display box, undisturbed, untouched. Just because I think it's a preservation. It's, it's real important to me because my second great-grandmother was um, Cherokee and then I have some uh, Choctaw on my father's side so yeah they kind of they mean a lot to me also because me and my great grandmother would go out and we would find a whole bunch of them out on our own property and uh, they just hold a lot of meaning to me so I wouldn't want them just laying out to where the kitty can jump on there and knock them off and break pieces and stuff like that so they will be put in a shadow box and up on a shelf away from little hands and little paws just to be admired. This one I thought was just absolutely neat. I think this one might be obsidian. Maybe. It feels the same. It's real sharp um, and real rough around the edges. Like I don't know if you can if I'm going to get a good focus on this guy but there it is up against my hand. And then you can kind of see through it a little bit. I don't know. I have no idea. So I'll just rely on y'all to help me identify these. And apparently Tawny really likes them. <laughs> so yeah. There we are. And that's the last one, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I hope y'all had a great weekend, and thank y'all for watching, and as always, blessed be.